Oh, wait a minute, look at this out of nowhere. The, the, the other vicious is in the ring going for John Morrison here. I don't know. Oh, okay. Now the Enigma notices it. Oh, they just going old school on John Morrison there. And once again, these two visitors are in the same place at the same time. So, I mean, and, oh, hits the eternal rest on the on the excuse me, on the John Morrison there. Now these two words are in this huge stare down. Exactly, this is exactly what happened that right before the conclusion of the Murphy Law Vicious match. You see up there a stereo now. Look at this, now the in, that so-called Enigma doing that huge judgment slam to John Morrison and still now Vicious going back back after John Morrison. Like they're taking turns and just destroying John Morrison. Oh this that huge repeated hammer to back at the back of John Morrison, now that's the Enigma's turn. Oh, it's a bulldog. So it's clear, so it's basically clear to say right at this point, folks, that these are two completely different men right here. But why is there two viciouses? If we're like seven feet tall, over 300 pounds, and there's one who's like two and a half, like six feet three inches tall. Oh my, that full mills. That full Nelson slam is damn near simple. Uh, damn near simple. John Morrison took to hell and oh, actually having a way with John Morrison. And John Morrison putting a whole new meaning to the phrase enhancement talent here. As you see both these men just taking their time destroying John Morrison here, and now the Enigma going old school. I, mean, I don't know, but I don't know if, if, if these two men are enemies or if they're allies or what, because they have yet to come to blows. We have not seen them work together except when it comes to jobbing out John Morrison. I guess the Enigma is leaving. Vicious unceremonious throws John Morrison down the ring like the piece of garbage he is, though has no business being here in UWA.
the following contest. It is a tag team match. On their way to the way. From San Francisco, California, Badass Jamie Heineman. From San Francisco, California, Adam Savage, the Mythbusters. Well, folks, let's go. We'll just wait and see if Anton will be eligible to compete in this double and square the spare match. And here comes up next the Mythbusters. And my goodness, Jamie Heineman unnecessarily walked over the top rope. Talk about badass. And this is take a team in Keltite. Two teams out. Desperately would love to once again to get a shot at the UA Tag Team Championships. Now introducing their opponents. Hailing from Chicago, Illinois, Keenan and Ken. Now, it's a point out here, folks, that this match is not officially a number one contenders matchup. This is an exhibition between Keenan and Kale and the Mythbusters. Some would say two dream tag teams here in the UWA. However, both these teams have you know, tremendous losses at the of the but they got in their respective matches. Of course, Keenan and Kale losing that two or three balls match to the Law Society. We have the Mythbusters along with Ross Money losing a few six man tag team against Luke Fowler, Powerhouse Team, and the Enigma. So both these teams love it, finding a way to get some momentum, possibly prove that they deserve another shot at the Tumblr Championship set up in the near future. For some would argue that maybe it sees how Keen and Kill that three month long feud with the Law Society that culminated in a loss against the Law Society at Claim the Fame. Some people are arguing maybe another team could step up and challenge the Law Society. And some people are arguing maybe even the Mythbusters. Of course, as we all, all know, the Mythbusters are former multi-time UA Tag Team Champions. And those are the most well-known title victories was that Claim the Fame, the Battle of St. Louis event at Pangolium 9. When they won the team titles back at the same year, Beast Party Slim to be sex and violence in a matter of, or to mean a fight to the bitter end match. And look at this. Jaden Hyman going to town on the team. He's on the mud hole and his ass and walking it dry and then flipping him off to make it adding into the injury. And Jamie Hyman never ceases to amaze me as you see these two old men basically busted. My goodness! Jamie Heineman hitting that badass slam. Falling with that spin out power bomb pinning position there. I mean, Jamie Heineman never ceases to amaze me at how far he'll go to make himself seem really badass. Hell, a lot of times he didn't try to look bad. He just comes off as being badass. Everything from his look to his attitude to his moveset. I mean, he saw his entrance. He just walked to the top rope. But this guy is not even. Not even six and a half feet tall, but yet he suddenly walks over the top rope like he's some some giant. And now Kel tagging these two. Oh! That sidewalk deck breaker type tag team maneuver there. And like I said, folks, you see one of the new game, you know, doing some new renovations with the arena here. And of course, new OC OC is not of the commentary position with me, it's like I said. If you saw what happened on Claim of Fame, Olsen sick this unknown entity on the Lord Magma. And we have yet to ID who that entity is. All we know is he must be in cahoots with, with old Steven. And once again, Olsen is still all trying to avoid Lord Magma at any cost. As we all know. Lord Magnus here talking to the main event that's Kurt and Rampage Jackson. So of course Olsen's not going to be in the building. Taking him ahead to go to town with on Kel. They were kind of sidestep that instant three attempt. And like I said, Kim the thing, you can never count out Keenan and Kel's, you know, their physical attributes, their their athleticism, but they need to take the fight to Going in to open on several occasions, outperforming them, but for some reason, always came short of winning the tactic championships. 
Now he again hits that STO back. Oh, wait a minute. No, he switches up from a backbreaker to a Russian leg sweep. Some leg sweep. Never seen that maneuver before. Yeah, I'm sad to be able to break up the pin attempt. See, stuff like that will make Kenny and Kale such a dynamic dude, such a formidable, a, a formidable tag team in the UWA. I mean, Kenny and Kale finds a way, especially Keenan finds a way to cut the neutral of offense on his opponent. No, I think Gene Heinen might have flabbergasted there. Now I have Savage tag in here. What do you do? And, oh, just throwing. Keenan like a sack of potatoes unceremoniously in the corner. And look at that again. Dean Hunter is walking over the top rope. And Seth measuring his man hitting up that drop kick. Well, we all know, folks, we've been winning ever since. Even prior to days of Pain Name 11. We've been winning for a team to come up the pike and defeat the Lost Society to take the, the medal, the the. the the, those gold tag team champions off the waist of the Lost Society. You want to be, you probably want to see justice prevail one of these days. I mean, with both losses, with both Rabbit Arisea and the Golden Eagle holding the tag team title to be possible, I believe both set the tag team title belts. I mean, we've been waiting for months to finally see someone able to defeat them, and we have yet to see that even come close to happen. And he kept up a valiant attempt at King of Fame to keep up short in the long run. And oh, Adam hit that huge spike DDT. Maybe Hyman, or to be Adam Savage, perhaps signaling for the end here. Of course, Kel coming in to bring up that pin. Now we have a whole boo-ha-ha going on. All four men are in the ring. Directly to course, stop the count, couldn't keep track, and now he's going to count again. Just telling kind of in front and got out of the ring there. Now, uh, wait a minute. Oh, Keenan able to counter that with a DDT of his own. And some of us should go far as to say this would be like a dream match. I mean, both these men are known for their absolute shenanigans. But also at the same time, when it comes down to business, they're damn serious. Oh, 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 oh! He didn't go that huge DDT-like maneuver, spiking Adam Savage on his head. Now whipping out into the court, both the tag to Kel once again. And all oh, that double hip toss. Great teamwork applied by Keenan to Kel here tonight. And oh! Kel going for the orange soda attack right there. Running out where Adam going for a pin attempt. Only getting a two count. Adam going to bow back that shoulder block. Those two teams are just so back and forth, so evenly matched. And of course, it's like, it's like experience versus unpredictability. You have the experience of the big bus to take out the I mean, you can never know what Keenan and Kel going to dish out next which makes up so damn unpredictable in that ring. It makes up so affordable against their opponents.